ago I came across an article it was a speech delivered by a Miss Carlton Fiorina chief executive officer of the Hewlett Packard Corporation delivered a few weeks after the 9-11 attacks in this speech she was talking about the once upon a time followers of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I'm going to read part of this speech to you this is what she had to say there was once a civilization that was the greatest in the world it was able to create a continental super state that stretched from ocean to ocean and from northern climes to tropics and deserts Within its dominion lived hundreds of millions of people of different creeds and ethnic origins. One of its languages became the universal language of much of the world, the bridge between the peoples of a hundred lands. Its armies were made up of people of many nationalities and its military protection allowed a degree of peace and prosperity that had never been known. The reach of this civilization's commerce extended from Latin America to China and everywhere in between and this civilization was driven more than anything by invention its architects designed buildings that defied gravity its mathematicians created the algebra and algorithms that would enable the building of computers and the creation of encryption its doctors examined the human body and found new cures for disease its astronomers looked into the heavens named the stars and paved the way for space travel and exploration. Its writers created thousands of stories. When other nations were afraid of ideas, this civilization thrived on them and kept them alive. When censors threatened to wipe out knowledge from past civilizations, this civilization kept the knowledge alive and passed it on to others. While modern Western civilization shares many of these traits, the civilization I'm talking about was the Islamic world from the year 800 to 1600, which included the Ottoman Empire and the courts of Baghdad, Damascus and Cairo, and enlightened rulers like Suleiman the Magnificent. Although we are often unaware of our indebtedness to this other civilization, its gifts are very much a part of our heritage. The technology industry would not exist without the contributions of the Arab mathematicians. My friends, May Allah give her hidayat for I'm sure you will agree. In this day and age, she is very rare. She is from amongst the few that speaks the truth. Indeed, my young friend, these were your forefathers. Indeed, these were the Muslims and indeed, these were once upon a time the followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When such was the condition in Europe that the ladies, barons and princesses could not even read or write. You know, your forefathers, the people that you belong to, the people that you are affiliated to, your roots, your forefathers were the beacons. They were the lighthouses. They were the torch bearers. They were the epitomes of guidance. Your forefathers were the world leaders. They were leading the whole of mankind in every aspect of life. Your forefathers excelled and excelled and still further excelled so much so that your forefathers were hundreds of years ahead of their own time. 